Hey friends, it's Jennifer Herndon at jenniferherndon.com. Today I am going to show you a very cool tool that you can use to organize all those tabs and links and whatever else you have on your computer that you're saving for later but don't have time to read right now. And the tool is called Pocket and you can find it at getpocket.com. If you go over to getpocket.com, I'll walk you through how to get set up and start putting it to use. I know a huge problem that I had for the longest time was I would see stuff and want to read it later so I would just leave it as an open tab in my web browser. And I got to where I would have two or three windows with 15 or 20 tabs each. I didn't even know what was there anymore and certainly didn't have time to go through and read it all. Um, and what would happen is my computer would start to slow down and I'd have to end up closing it down and rebooting and it's just you know a waste of time all around. And the other thing that I know that I do a lot is I find links, especially on Twitter, that I want to go and read the article or whatever, but I'm in the midst of something else I've already scheduled to do, and so I just sort of say, well, I'll come back to it. And then, of course, I never come back to it because you forget that it was even there. You're on to the next thing. Well, Pocket will help you to save and organize everything you see that you say, I want to read it, but I don't have time right now. So it's a pretty easy tool to use, but there are a few things that took me a while to get used to. So I'm going to go ahead and walk you through it, and hopefully that'll be helpful to getting you signed up and going as quickly as possible. So we're at getpocket.com. If you um, do not have an account, obviously you can click on sign up now, and it's a simple sign up process. It, it involves putting in your name and choosing a username and password. So it, there isn't anything that you're missing out on here by me not showing you how to do that. Once you are logged in, what it will do is bring up in, in a visual sort of way, you can also switch over to list if you want to, but I, th I think um, I see Pocket as sort of like your personal Pinterest, you know, something where you can collect things just like you pin things on Pinterest because the presentation is kind of the same. Um, but it's just for your use and not for anybody else's for marketing or for to share with anyone. So once you're at Pocket, when you don't have anything there yet, it will automatically give you a little link that says learn how to save things or something along those lines. And what you can do then is um, you can click on that and it will show you how to add either the Chrome app or to add the little um, thing up here that allows you to use it really easily. Let me go to that page. Actually, let me show you this, okay? If you, once you're logged in, if you're wanting to go back to that page that shows you how to install the things, you just want to go down here to options and click on the little plus sign here and that'll always take you back here. That's the word I was looking for, sorry, the bookmark button. So if you use Chrome, which I recommend you do, you can click on this and you can install um, Pocket directly on Chrome and it'll show up right up here is where Pocket will appear on your toolbar. And it's just, whenever you see something you wanna to add to Pocket, you just click on there and add it. The other thing you can do, which I've also done just for demonstration, is you can take this bookmark button and you can drag it up here to your toolbar so that um, no matter what browser you use it's right there if you're on a web page that you want to to um, pocket something then you just click on this and it will save it to your pocket another really cool thing here and you can go through this and see but you can view your what you've saved from any device that you have just by getting the app um, it's also integrated with 300 plus apps that you can use um, to save to Pocket, and I know I use this one, I forget what it's called, but it's a Twitter app that is integrated with Pocket so you can easily save stuff from Twitter. You can also email any link to your Pocket by uh, emailing it to that email address. So they make it really easy, several different ways to do it. But the most common way that I think you're gonna use is either by using your little Chrome extension up here or by using your bookmark button right here. So once you've drug that up there and or installed the Chrome extension, which this just takes you to the Chrome App Store. Um, I'll do it for you even though I already have it installed and it's simple, it just takes you to the App Store and all you have to do is click on it and it will install it for you. So as 
you can see this will slowly come up for us hopefully and um, if you I don't if you've never installed any kind of a Chrome extension you should still be able to do it see it says here added to Chrome but if I had not added it to Chrome there would be a button that said add to Chrome you simply click on that wait a few seconds it'll say added and your little tag will appear up here okay so once you are ready to go let me show you how you use it um, and I'm gonna give you this uh, I'm gonna do this example for you because this is just a common way that I use it I curate a lot of content off of Twitter so this is one of the lists that I curate content from and you know when you go to this stuff you want to keep when you're working throughout your day you want to keep on schedule so you don't want to get distracted and see stuff and go oh I gotta read that right now so whatever you're doing if you're not if you're not scheduled right at that time to be reading stuff then you want to add it to your pocket for later to keep yourself organized and on track so if I see something in here like I know uh, Mark Schaefer he always um, shares good stuff how much automation is safe for social media strategy that looks like it might be a good article I'm gonna go ahead and click on it and I'll just glance at it real quick to see um, you know because that's kind of a hot topic automation and social media and it's something that I want to learn about and share with my audience so I might skim through it a little bit oh she's got some tools for automation here this looks like something I might want to read but I don't want to do it right now so either I can click on my bookmark here or I can come over here and click on pocket and what does it say page saved now the let me do that again so I can the other thing that you can do then is add tags if you click on add tags there you can add tags which will keep everything organized in your pocket and this would be for me the list that I have called curated so I would type in the tag that I want curated you could add multiple tags separated by commas I would click save and it saved it for me and now I can click here and go eh, it seems to go away quickly I can click here and go to view list and it will take me back to pocket uh, and show me right here is the one that I have added and then once I've read it I can click on here the little check mark to indicate that I've read it and it will put it in archives and you can see if you go back over here to archives you can go into your archive at any time and see what you've got archived or I can click on the X to delete it or I can click on the star to favor it and again over here we've got a favorites category so it's another helpful list making option for you so now that I've got this saved so you know you could come up with quite a bit I just cleaned mine out so I don't have much in here but you could come up with quite a bit of stuff you could have rows and rows of stuff and not really know where anything is that's where the tagging feature comes in really well if you go down here to the bottom of the page where you see this little tag and click on it then it will open up sooner or later to show the tags that I have let's try that again why isn't it doing it oh here we go sorry I just need to scroll up duh okay so here is here are you can have view all items view only untagged items but right here are the different lists that I have the different tags that I use so if I'm looking for I'm, I'm ready to share something with my audience I want to go in and find some curated content that I've got I click on that and everything I have tagged as being curated content will come up and then I can click on it and read it so when you get a lot of stuff in here and usually I have too much in here I clean this out for you because it was a little bit embarrassing then the tags give you the option of you know you can have as many tags as you want and you can put more than one tag on an article um, you can also in addition to articles you can also save videos down here you can say see you can click on view articles and only the articles you've saved to come up or view videos or view images you can also pocket videos or images which I don't have any of those done right now but that allows you only to show those things so they give you several different options of um, narrowing it down and really keeping things organized and seeing where everything is the other thing that I want to show you is over here you can edit this is the edit button so if I click on edit 
then it gives me these, well, you know what I should have gone back to, hold on, let me go back for just a minute here. Um, I should have gone back to show everything, just for ease, I guess. Um, so we can see the editing. Let's go back to view all items. And then if you want to edit, let's look at the different things you can do when you edit. Um, you can, over here it shows the actions you can take. You can mark it as red, re-add it to a list, delete it, favor it, or unfavor it. And you can do that in bulk if you have a bunch you want to do instead of going through and doing the X's or the stars one at a time. You can check the ones you want and and do it in and do it in bulk. Now, one thing, the way that I use this most for is to add tags. And so to add a tag, you just want to write, click on re-add to list, and then click on add tags. You can also remove or replace tags, add tags, and then in here you add your tags. So if I wanted to um, also put this into one of my other categories, I would click, you know, highlight that article with the little button there and then make sure I had re-add to list, add tags, and enter the new tags I wanted to put in there. And then click on save changes, and I would have my new tags. Um, in addition to the curated tag, anything else that I had added. And like I say, you can also delete tags, you can rearrange. This is a nice little function here if you don't, if you want to move things around or you don't get everything right the first time. Or if like I did earlier today, you want to do a bulk edit and you want to delete a bunch of stuff that you're finished with. So that is Pocket. Very easy to use, but something that I find, I have found to really help me, one, save time, and also to really help me um, be productive and stay on task. If I'm scheduled to be doing one thing, no longer am I pulled away to read an article or watch a video. I can put it into my pocket and then I scheduled into my day or into my week for 30 minutes. I'm going to go through my pocket and see what's there that I need to look at. So I hope this has been helpful to you. Let me know in the comments below if you use pocket or how you like it, if you're just signing up for it, or if there's another tool that you like that is similar to pocket that you use to stay organized. I look forward to um, hearing about that. I'm always open and interested in new stuff to help me save time, me be more productive and more organized. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.